hello. Okay, this is a title I'm responding to his and her money. Um, by law, there is an agreement by law that if the husband and the wife has come into the marriage of wealth, both of them, then um, and, and either or is not struggling with any type of finances, then the judge would give them a divorce on uh, not owing any type of spousal support or anything like that. Um, then you got uh, another couple that comes in. One has one comes in with money and the other one doesn't. Um, it depends on what the husband has um like if say like the wife is a stay-home wife and raised the children and the husband all of a sudden has an education and and has found a way to make money or whatever and the wife has uh supported that husband with his education the the husband if during divorce the husband will be uh rewarded to pay alimony to that wife because that wife and then alimony and child support to that wife because the wife has supported the husband uh, in his career. And because of the wife's support, the husband got his education and uh, started his career. So the wife will be uh, rewarded um, by law. This is by law. The law has not changed with marriages uh, when you seek a divorce. Um, now, if vice versa, if the woman came in, to money and the husband supported the woman um financially um then that woman will be ordered to have um will be ordered to pay spousal support to that man you know but the the woman has custody of the of the the um the child so being that if the judge have ruled for that wife to have custody full custody or share custody of that child then being that um the the husband will not get spousal support because the husband has to find a way to support that child while it's with his mother so the husband will be ordered to pay child support to that mother for that um for that household for the child to not lack in that household. So that's the difficulty of having little kids and divorcing and stuff like that. Okay. Now, um, if the both parents has no children, if both husband and wife has no children together, then the judge is easily to just give them a divorce without anyone supporting, you know, without any type of order of payment of alimony. You know, you can't. Uh, you know, because both have money, both have a way to support themselves, both have an education and stuff like that. Now, if the person is, if the husband is disabled or the wife is disabled, um, you can easily, uh, they can easily, it's not going to be rewarded. Alimony is not going to be rewarded to the husband or the wife because there's, there's social security. So social security um, can, um, the you know, Social Security can be ordered through the the husband and the wife. So that wouldn't be a problem, you know. Um, but if the wife is supporting the husband and the husband is um, not able to, to work, um, sometimes the wife has to, you know, they, you know, the wife will be probably be ordered over 10 years. That's if you've been married over 10 years. If you've been married over 10 years, the husband... That is disabled, uh, who, who's been um, uh, at home, husband, taking care of the kids and stuff like that. They can uh, sue the wife for alimony because he he stayed home. He made a decision to stay home and be the caretaker for his children, and uh, he has sheer custody. So the wife still has to do alimony with the children, you know. Um, pay 
alimony to the husband. But vice versa, if the wife choose to stay home and for the caretaker of their children, the husband will be ordered to pay alimony to the wife, you know, so that that household won't lack with those children. So you have responsibility of if it does splitting, uh, the husband has to provide, still provide for that wife and those children. So that's that's during marriage, you know, um, divorce. So um, I had a friend that asked me a question about the divorce. They uh, so uh, sometimes the in the alimony you can ask for the person to still pay for insurance for those children. Uh, I don't know if it'd be order for the husband to still pay for your health care package or whatever. Um, but it's not not an intent it's not ordered like that. <laughs> so but the children still get the the health care, but not the wife, not the ex wife. So but she can get alimony so she can find a way to find a package and probably from her alimony she can do the um from her alimony uh, check that she get, uh, she can, um, from her alimony check that she get, she could probably find a cheaper insurance company that will, that she can pay each month or whatever. So um, before, you know, each month paying into insurance to cover. So she can do that. Um, but nine out of 10, the, the judge is not going to reward her any type of insurance um, but they, long she has little kids by the husband, uh, he has to continue on with the health insurance with the children. The children has to remain on his insurance. So he has to get a card for the mother to, when the mother got to take him to the doctors and stuff like that. So all information must be given to the insurance company by the, the, um, the husband employment. So um, that the, the husband employment would know to add them on the insurance and stuff. So that's basically number one. Um, but the husband is not no longer responsible for the health care of the, of the ex-wife. Okay. Um, but they, if you married over 10 years, then uh, if uh, she or he has not, um, is in school or trying to get uh, a career going through this schooling, uh, the the husband have to continue on taking care of the wife until the wife uh, continue on in her education because she did the same for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's only right for the judge to order that for the wife. You know that the wife get a career going and started and supporting. Uh, so the finances will support that wife to get her business open or, you know what I'm saying, to get something started for so that the child, the children can survive also in her household. So if they don't, if they share in the household, then they really don't have to worry about it. But if they not share in the household, they separate households, then yes, the, uh, the husband still has to, the ex-husband still have to support that household. Meaning that because of, because they shared that household and because they shared that household, he has to still uh, maintain that household, you know, because that his children is in that household, and long as they have the children, they have to support the household, and they and the children can't go without. Okay, so that's doing child support in alimony. Okay, okay, that's doing marriages. So I was just responding to uh, one of the YouTube pages. Uh, some young people they get in, they get married, they don't um, before ten years, they don't want to get annulled. Um, sometimes they can just get an overnight um, divorce. Um, they, you know, because you only been like, say, like you only been married for like ten years. I mean, ten months, <laughs> ten months. I'm like ten years. Maybe you've been married ten year, uh, ten months, or, uh, or or eleven years. You know what I'm saying? And you don't feel as though that you made you feel as though you made a mistake marrying the person. But you can get it annulled and um, go to the justice of the peace that. Um, they had the uh, thing and then you have to go and appear in court and ask for a divorce but you have to go to court sign the papers and have a lawyer <clears throat> some people do it through lawyers a uh, divorce lawyer so when you can get a divorce lawyer have a divorce law lawyer uh, some is you know uh, serve him with some divorce papers you know because um, my niece did her husband her husband uh, wife like that uh, served them with some 
divorce papers and when they served them with the divorce papers i was kind of you know i said oh okay you you get served papers like say like you suing somebody for um money to uh that you have uh you have brought property and and the money has to be returned back and you sue a person and you got to have the person served so you go to court file the paperwork to have the person be served you pay the fee for the person to be served and the person don't show up for court if the person don't show up for court then you issue out another uh you serve them again and then if the person don't come out for a uh, thing then you what you do is you call a collection agency and you say hey i, I you know we sh we sent serving papers and and what we want to do is we have to now we have to put him in collections you know what I'm saying for back old you know something that he they, they owe back and stuff like that so put them in collections uh me being an llc i should have a whole lot of record labels in, in collection uh, a lot of singers and artists and actors <laughs> so so like uh you know big time producers and entertainment companies i should have all of them in collections that's why i said my entertainment lawyer i don't know what he doing but you know um cummins or whatever i guess they they claiming to be uh i guess they you know um uh, i don't know what they're doing but um i don't know if they claiming uh <clears throat> i guess i don't know if they claiming that they didn't get paid the company didn't get paid or the law firm didn't get paid i don't know but Hopefully and apparently they they not doing that because I did not have to sue the law firm. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> I have to find a lawyer to sue the law firm. You know, so so yeah. Uh, but hopefully and apparently they not doing that. I I would I would not want them to be a have a bad reputation. You know, because they they two nice people and um, I kind of figure you know working for me and then I help my brother with his case with Ford Ford um, case and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I helped him because he was, he was dealing with some medical issues on the job. And and he, he kind of figured he was trying to retire early, you know, I guess. And um, so so it was kind of sad that he was going through that. So I talked my, you know, my my, man, my uh, lawyer talked to me, my uh, workman's comp lawyer talked to me. And then I, he asked me, did I trust him and stuff like that? Because he said he was trying to get free legal advice and stuff. And I said, I said, he said, I was trying to tell him to come to the office and stuff. So I was, I was like, yeah, he's, I said, I really, you know, he's my only last hope, you know what I'm saying, for me, my daughter to have a, uh, continue on and, and, and have a nice life and stuff like that. So while I'm getting, while I'm trying to get better, I chose him and his wife to kind of, uh, you know, guide my daughter to Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? So Cruz Ministry, um, I mean, we got saved in apostolic because I think uh, Deirdre is related to Marianne, you know what I'm saying? So it's like family, you know what I'm saying? So so I kind of figure, like, you know, sister churches, we got saved in his family's church, <laughs> one of his family's churches. So, so you know, when my daughter was a little baby, you know. So uh, so I kind of thought it was okay to leave him with them. And I know he goes to church faithfully every Sunday. And my daughter would learn the words and stuff like that. So he asked me a couple of things about my faith and my belief because he knew that we was Baptist. But I got saved in apostolic. So, so um, you know, Pentecostal is apostolic, just in case everybody don't know that, okay? Some some Kujik might not know. <laughs> it's still Pentecostal faith, you know. So um, Baptist is still Pentecostal faith also. So just in case people don't know that. Um, you know, it'd be a lot of people that don't know that. But... Um, you know, me knowing uh, the truth about uh, the scriptures and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So um, so my thing is, if you can, you know, see your way through a lot of things, uh, you might want to, you know, you might want to just, you know, tally up and, and speak truth, you know what I'm saying? I believe you can see a lot of miracles if you just speak truth. And and Jesus said, remember, I'm the truth, the way, and life. You know what I'm saying? So he each time he spoke to the people, he said, I'm the truth, way, and life. So each time he spoke to the people, he knew. He said, I tell no lie. I tell no lie. And he raised his right hand all the time because he said he sit on the right hand of the Father. You know what I'm saying? So so just imagine how he had a thief on the left and the right. And the thief that's on the right, the thief that was on the, the left of him uh, survived. And the thief that was on the right you know what I'm saying? Got you know, got his eyes pecked out. You know what I'm saying? He said, if you that's why God that's why they get from the Bible it said, if your eye offend you, peck it out, you know what I'm saying, pull it out, you know what I'm saying? So it's better to enter into 
heaven into with one limb than a sinful limb. You know what I'm saying? So so I just kind of figure like my eyes, when people say your eyes is wandering, you want to, you know, I said, nah, these, these people is, is kind of crazy when they say your eyes be wandering and stuff like that. I mean, what type of people that will let a person's eye wander on somebody's butt or somebody's breast or somebody, you know what I'm saying? That's a pervert for number one. Somebody got uh, bad tendencies. They, they perverts. They, um, they predators. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of predators going on because you can't be that damn nosy. You want to see a person's breast all the time. You're looking at a person's butt. You're looking at a person's, you know what I'm saying? You want to see everything. So that's a predator. You know what I'm saying? That's a predator that is scouring for to like either rape a person or sodomize somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's a predator. A sick person. A sick-minded ass person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But a person, they can they can put a hicks on you to make you look that way. You know what I'm saying? So the person is really not a predator, but the person might have that type of spell on them. You know what I'm saying? You see the Puerto Ricans say, this is what they do in New York? You see what the Puerto Ricans say? He said, I, I was a one that was, he said, he may, he can make a person do anything. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a wizard or whatever. So you see you see what that mean? Yeah. So just imagine how so many people get involved with this stuff and and they they can have power over you by you you know making a, a, a spirit making you do these things. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's kind of bad. That's why you need Jesus. You know, that's why the man he you know what I'm saying he was yelling out from the top of his soul. You know, like my Lord, my Lord. He called Jesus out of his name. He said Lord. You know, he said only through the Holy Spirit you can call him Lord. So he was still saved. But even though the demons trying to take over. He, he didn't let the demons take over him. So he said only the strong is going to survive. So even though you possess with a demon, but you're not letting that demon have control over you. He says sin will not take place in his body. You know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes the devil take place and sometimes, you know, it, you, you'll be doing what the devil wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? But if you if the devil know he has no place in you. You know what I'm saying? He'll flee. He said the devil got to flee the sound of Jesus' name. You know what I'm saying? So the man called out Jesus, and Jesus cast the cast the devils out. The, the devil kept, was cast out, you know. But they don't want to let there's something about that name. Uh, something about that. So that's that's where I came out with the lyrics. <laughs> so, so yeah. Okay. Um, but that's why I say you gotta be careful when you entering into these these different nations and stuff, because you know, a lot of people do they do witch doctors. They, they, these villagers, these people will come back with something on them. You know what I'm saying? They come right back in the United States with something on them. And then next thing you know, they, 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 this, this demon is tapping into everybody. You know what I'm saying? It jumps from, jumps from soul to soul, you know, spirit to spirit. You know, so yeah. I mean, he did it in the crowd when Jesus was, when Jesus was talking to everybody. He said he enter in. When Jesus was talking to Judas, he said, and the devil enter into Judas. You know what I'm saying? While he was talking to him. So, yeah. So, that's how it works, though. It really is true. That's how I do. So, yeah. Okay. See y'all later. Talk with Lisa. Real talk. You know. And get to know that name, Jesus. See you later.